But today on Knucklehead Garage, we're messing around with a 1995 Buick Roadmaster sedan. Been working on this rear bumper. My custom front end is slated to go on this thing, but it needs a custom rear bumper specific to the sedan. <laughs> we got it pressure washed. Nothing like working on clean parts. You know, Knuckle Buster teases me, because every time I work on something, I paint everything. And he goes, what do you think this is, a tester's model kit or something? I like working on clean parts. Yeah, look at that. We're not flunking around. So now we're going to take this crazy thing, and we're going to take these crazy things. I made these as separate molds. And these are the ends, the ends of the bumper where they bolt up to the car. Because right here we've got the original rear bumper, the cover that came off the car. And we can see on these ends, there are studs that are mounted through that sit on a steel plate. Yeah, here we've got our end caps, but here they are. We're going to get these attached onto this car. Is that down here, this flange, that's runoff, that's the part on that line, that's real critical. It's up against the body, so I'm going to have to hog this out to go further with my fitting. And then I'm also going to take a sander and just kind of knock this whole surface a little bit flatter, probably with an air file. Alright, so here we are. I didn't trim all the way tight, gave myself a little wiggle room for the first fit, but you can see how much fun this is. Wear a mask. Compressed air is your friend. I took a little time to flatten these out with a belt sander and then come back in with a little bit of goo and smooth them out some since they were kind of all over the place. And so here we've got it in. You can see the bottom out just a little far. We'll hit that with a sharpie. And then we get up right there. It's a little shallow. And then it fits up at the top, needing some shaving because all those lumps and bumps. All right, where's that drum roll? Drum roll! Drum roll! Drum roll! All right, there's our first rough copy in thick fiberglass of that bumper, made from the one on the car. And then we're going to see what kind of gaps we have, and then we'll trim it so we can get it in place. And there it is, ladies and gentlemen. First toss on. And then what we're going to have to do is get these ends to play nice with each other. It's a tight fit to the front. There's some wiggle room still as we align this thing, but it's about the gap I want. Pretty good guess. All right, so we got it screwed in. We drilled pilot holes through the plywood. Well, there it is, spliced in on both sides. You'll notice this top's missing because I can't get to it. But once I pop it off, as long as these are square, it'll align. Well, that's the second rain this afternoon. The first one was very brief, but this one stuck around. Well, we just masked the back side with some tape, and we're going to take some filler, and we're going to fill in that seam, because the filler dries pretty quick. I use matte, matte and resin, one ounce, nice and easy. All right, back at it, Knucklehead Garage, day two, yada, 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 and then the outsides are going to need some trimming. So, over here, we got these little templates I'm making. These will get stuck to the back edge of the bumper, and that's what I'll be uh, sanding up to. That's my sanding guide. Yeah, we got it ground down, squared up the edges, filled it in, got it spliced. All right. 
right, where were we? We were getting these end pieces fitted on the bumper, lined up on the car, and you can see we've still got more trimming to do up here. That's going to get shaved down, and you can see in order to do that, we had to backfill, and that's what this blue stuff is. I'm about to come back and put a second coat on it. We'll get some more filler in there. And then we'll do a bunch of grinding. This side's closer because this side didn't have trim on it. One side did, one side didn't. So, a little at a time. Well, we're at the end of day three. Three. Day three. All right, looking at the end of the mold. Look how smoothed off that is. That's those parts bolted in. The other side looks the same. So now... We've also got our cardboard, or it's actually chipboard, template that we made on the body of the car. So that's our shape reference, and we're about to pull that off. But we'll do that in the next episode of Knucklehead Garage. Once again, Georgia Rain. We'll be back tomorrow, day four. Knucklehead Garage.